All right, guys, so we are going to be talking about a memorization trick for how you map the brachial plexus roots to the actual nerves. And so the brachial plexus is a pretty complicated map. You've got roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and then branches slash nerves. And so the whole reason that you will need this is if you're in anatomy practical lab and someone says, you know, what spinal levels does the ulnar nerve correspond to, you're going to sit there and you're going to be like, um, let me think about this whole picture and I think it might have something to do with C8 and T1. Um, and you know, if you can have a photographic memory and instantly recall that that has to be it, then that would be great. This uh, is a mnemonic that I did not create, but it's widely used. And so um, the three musketeers assassinated five rats, two mice, two unicorns. And the reason we care about this mnemonic is it tells us which spinal levels corresponds to which nerves or branches. And so the way this works is you basically take your hand, I mean, right or left, but basically your thumb will correspond to C5, index will be C6, middle finger will be C8, uh, ring finger will be, uh, I'm sorry, middle finger will be C7, ring finger will be C8, and then pinky will be T1. And so you do this with your hand. You just say three musketeers, so three musketeers, so three, corresponds to your thumb index ring uh, middle finger and that means that uh, c5 c6 c7 is the three and then musketeers means musculocutaneous so if you remember marmu musculocutaneous must be your c5 6 7 spinal levels that map to that and then assassinated so assassinate you make like a gun with your hand like this that's C5, C6, so you assassinated, and assassinated is the A in Marmu, the axillary nerve, so you're saying basically your axillary nerve comes from the C5, C6 spinal levels, and then five rats means that this radial nerve right here comes from all five of your fingers or the all five of the spinal levels that make up the brachial plexus, which is C5, 6, 7, 8, and then T1, and then you also have the five mice. Again, same thing, all five spinal levels will correspond to the uh, median nerve. And then finally, you're gonna have your pinky here. Uh, and so the two unicorns, you do this. So um, your ulnar nerve, the unicorn, corresponds to the two unicorns, C8 and T1. So you've got the three musketeers assassinating the five rats, the five mice, and the two unicorns. So you do that with your hand, you remember this mnemonic, and then you'll be able to, you know, if you don't have this whole picture in front of you on an exam, but someone says, you know, tell me exactly what is innervating the median nerve, because you'll remember five mice, you'll know that the five spinal levels mapped to uh, that median nerve. And if someone says, you know, what's coming from, you know, what are the spinal levels for the ulnar nerve, then you can say those two unicorns, which would be C8T1, um, and so that's how you would just know this really quickly. So that's the whole point of this thing. Uh, I think it's fairly helpful and I hope this is useful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you later.